Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to have another PF Sense tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to take Wi-Fi and make that the WAN connection for our PF Sense. Yes, that's right. If you happen to have wireless internet coming in, it's Wi-Fi and that's how you're getting your internet connection and you want to get a PF Sense into the mix and you don't have a wire connection, you can do it. So let's get started. I'll show you right here. All right, here we are. This is my PF Sense that I've set up here. And first thing you're going to notice is I go over here to the interfaces. And there's a few interfaces in here. And we've got this RE0 through 3. And I can tell you right now that those are not the wireless interfaces. So let's go right over here to wireless. And the first thing you need to do is add a wireless interface. So if I go to add, you're going to notice that this this card shows up, this ATH0. That's the one we want. And because we're going to not set this up as the access point, we're going to actually set this up as the WAN connection or even a failover WAN connection. You can do this. So we have to choose infrastructure as our wireless choice. If you were going to go and set this up as a wireless uh, access for your network, you want to pick access point. But in this case, we're going to take, click on the infrastructure one and we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it Wi-Fi. <laughs> WAN, <laughs> right? Wi-Fi WAN, because that's what we're going to use it as, okay? So you have that right there. Now, now you can go over here to your WAN infrastructure and change it from this R0. And now you'll see that this interface that we just created shows up. So let's go ahead and change that to that. Click Save. Give it a minute because it you know, takes it a minute to catch up on all that good stuff. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to go back over to Interfaces and click on WAN. Here's where all the magic happens. So you may or may not ever notice, but if you scroll down, there are wireless configuration stuff in here now. And you're like, well, what do I pick? Okay, well, this is this is straightforward. So on your standard, you want to pick whatever fits you. This is an older card, so it is only N and G capable. There's no AC. And to be honest, PF Sense is not the greatest for, for wireless. Um, I'm not even 100% sure that they support AC yet. Okay, so this is an NG one. We're going to go down here. Auto is great for channels because you can just let it do its thing. Now, here's where you select your SSID. Normally, you're probably used to this, oh, you know, discoverability, and there's a, it's in there. But you're going to have to actually just type that in yourself, so you're going to need to know it on your own. In our particular case, I'm going to type that in. And something that's going to be important is your... WPA. So you want to put in your pre shared key and select your standard. And moving on down, you will also have to check this box, this WME, in order for this to work. And so that's basically all there is to it. Okay. So hit save, hit apply. Now that that's applied, we're going to go back over here and we're going to check it out. And looky there. And you look in our WAN connection, it says 802.11n and we got this 10 IP address. So if I go up here and I just go um, yahoo.com works and boom, there it is right? Don't know why you'd want to go there, but hey, <laughs> that's all there is to setting up your PF Sense to use Wi-Fi as your WAN connection. So there are reasons why you might want to do this, and um, I can think of a few. Um, for one, if, for example, you needed to have a failover 
and you needed to throw in your hotspot at, into your network to get you up and running when your main WAN connection is down. So you could set up a Wi-Fi hotspot, plug it in, and just set that to do that. Um, there are other ways to do that. You can get a wireless card that's cellular to do that. Um, sometimes some internet providers are Wi-Fi, and so that may be an option here. Or maybe you're getting it, maybe you're beaming it from one building to another and you want to put a router or firewall in the mix. There are lots of reasons why you want, might want to do this, but this is definitely how you do it. And um, failover is probably the most common one you want to fail over to unless your network and it happens to be wire wireless. Um, there are wireless ISPs out there, so that's an option here too. Um, I'm Kevin Stevenson with GetMeTheGeek.com. If you got something out of this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button. Highly appreciate it. If you want to support my channel, that's how to do it. Also, I have Buy Me The Coffee links. So if you want to go ahead and donate a little bit of money to help me out, I appreciate that too. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next week for another tech tutorial.